GuitarLessons.com, the number one name in guitar lessons online. Now, the next thing that's important for you to know before we start, you know, doing some playing and stuff is just the parts of the guitar because you're going to hear all the time your buddies or people in music stores saying, oh, uh, I need a bridge pin for my guitar or whatever. It's like, or, or you need a new bridge pin or something like that. Or uh, your tuners are bad or, you know, you have gold tuners and you need to know what they're saying and what they're talking about. So I'm just going to go over with you the parts on the acoustic guitar really quickly. So you can just have some new vocabulary under your belt and you can know what's going on when you talk to other musician types out there. Now this whole section right here from this white part down on my guitar is called the headstock or head or you know there's a couple different names they call it but anytime you hear somebody refer to a headstock or the head of a guitar that's what they're talking about from here down. On the headstock this may seem simple to you guys but these are the tuners or tuning pegs or tuning keys. Anytime you hear anything like that, that's what they're talking about, the tuning keys. That's what I usually call them. Right here, this white part on my guitar is called the nut. And a lot of times that's either made out of plastic or like a bone or sometimes even metal on some guitars. But that, it's where the strings sit, the final place the strings sit before they go to the tuning keys where you wind the pegs, you know. Next part of the guitar would just call the neck, and that's everything from here all the way up to kind of this joint where it terminates on the body. But this whole part is just called the neck, just a generic kind of a catch-all term. Now, we already talked a little bit about the frets on learning how to count the frets up, you know, up the neck of the guitar. So I'll just go over that one more time. The metal things go in this way, vertically, are called frets. And, you know, fret markers, the little dots on my guitar are called fret markers or inlays. So a lot of times those are just to help keep, keep track of where you are when you're playing, but they also have some pretty good aesthetic value too. Uh, on this guitar, as long as I'm here, I may as well tell you, see how the white right here on my guitar? That's just called binding. It's kind of a decoration or aesthetic, but, you know, kind of protects from getting dinged too. So not all guitars have that. Yours might, it might not. Right here, we have a strap button on the guitar, and some acoustic guitars have this, some don't. A lot of times, if you have a strap button, I like it better because you can just hook your strap up real quick right there, and there's one right here too on the bottom. You can just put your strap on and go, but a lot of times, acoustic guitars will come without this, and you have to, on your strap, you'll have a little, like a shoelace looking thing or something where you have to tie around your headstock instead of using your strap button right here. And what you do, you just take that little shoelace thing that's on the end of your strap, stick it under the strings, and then tie it in a bow or square knot. Probably a square knot's a good idea so it doesn't fall off. But that's what that is, that's a strap button. Your guitar may have one, it may not. This whole section of the guitar right here is called the body of the guitar. And you know, that's I like, like the neck, you know, a generic catch-all term for everything down here. The other half of the guitar is called the body of the guitar. Next part of the guitar we're going to talk about is the bridge. And this part right here, black on my guitar, and it's made of ebony, is, it's called the bridge. And it's usually glued on top of acoustic. It may be made of rosewood, ebony, plastic. It just depends on your guitar. And if you look on the bridge, you'll see these white parts right here. I have individual saddles. That's what they're called, saddles. And odds are, if you have an acoustic, you'll probably have one long individual saddle that the strings kind of sit over before they go into the holes where the bridge pins keep them in there. And that leads us to the next part, that's the bridge pins. Those just push them down in there and they hold the strings in. All right, just a couple more parts of the guitar to hit for you, and that's the pick guard. Right here, this plastic part on my guitar. It's kind of a red tortoise shell color. And you may have a pick guard, you may not, it doesn't matter. It really, it's just to keep your guitar protected from getting scratched up when you use a pick. And it's kind of a design thing too, a little bit of aesthetic value in there. So you have, and you probably can't see it, but my guitar is kind of chipping away right here where, where, the, where the pick guard doesn't quite cover it. So, and the last part I'll probably go over is just a rosette. And if you have a design around the sound hole, the hole in the middle of your guitar is called the sound hole. But the design around it is usually called a rosette. 
So those are the basic parts of an acoustic guitar. And your guitar may be a little bit different than mine, but that's okay. Just get familiar with these names and just try to memorize them so when somebody's talking about a particular part of the guitar, you'll know what they mean.